Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to another, another podcast, another um, audio pro, uh, programming, another audio por- portion of this podcast. This is only going to be an audio portion of this podcast, no visuals, no uh, photography or anything, just an audio portion, audio only podcast. Now I want to talk about a mystery, this is no ordinary mystery that people have been wa- uh, listening to on YouTube videos. Uh, for a long time, this is going back to six years ago, this uh, Canadian um, exchange student, we'll call her exchange student, uh, so happened to travel around the world, but the one place she went to was the Scenic Hotel. This was in the uh, Los Angeles area, a lot of people should know, uh, Los Angeles area, and no question about it, this is a, she was Chinese descent, according to her, what she looked like. Um, she was a Canadian student. She traveled around the world. She went to a hotel. This was Los Angeles area. Remember, this is Los Angeles at the time in 2013. It was never, and apparently the hotel that she went to had a long history of bad stuff, bad stuff in the, built, in the hotel itself, not just Lisa Lam. It's the building itself. Um, it had a lot of uh, history, bad history of the of the actual hotel. Um, but years and years later, uh, anyway, I won't describe the stories that they had. But anyway, the hotel alone, you know why it's significant? Because this Chinese Chinese girl, they had the elevator footage. People don't know that they had the elevator footage to it. Uh, the police people released the elevator footage that she was in. Um, she was wearing red at the time. I kid you not. Wearing red at the time. She extended her hand. This is my description when I saw the video. She extended her hand right where the elevators were. Inside the elevators. She extended her hand on those uh, on those elevators. I think she. a lot of people thought it was the elevator game that she was playing. Pushing all the buttons. And I think uh, I think she got spooked. The word I use is she got spooked. Uh, I think there was a uh, I don't know some. I think uh, you know uh, people's instincts. Sometimes they have uh, people have good intentions. And other people don't. And uh, sometimes they have that sixth sense. People should know about that. The sixth sense. Uh, we all have these senses in our world. Sixth sense, uh, well, no, it's really not a sixth sense, but we have this sort of thing where we sense negativity. I think she was uh, more, more or less that to this sort of thing. Um, but if you saw the elevator footage, you would clearly see what she was doing in the elevator. And so from the uh, security camera from the hotel elevator uh, at the time, this was back in 2013, six years ago, uh, we're, do- we're remembering Lisa Lamb at the moment. This is six years going on with a big story on YouTube. It didn't have to be. I'm going to really, really iterate that. It didn't have to be a big story, but everybody thought it was a big story. Let it be, kind of thing. (laughs) Let it be like Paul McCartney would sing this song. Let it be. Yeah, we're going to let it be, but we're doing a remembrance of Lisa Lynn. This young lady, young girl, at a certain age, um, you can quite tell, um, she was uh, Chinese descent. She was Chinese you can clearly see on her face, she was Chinese descent. Um, she's happened to travel around the world. Now, I'm not trying to, um, you know, really, real. I'm going to, in this video, we're only trying to remember her way she lived, way she lived her life from that point on. I think she was a nice Chinese girl, like any Chinese girl around or wherever the nationality was she was from. Um, but it clearly says here that she was uh, uh, she was from the scenic hotel at the time. This was back in 2013. Big hotel. This was in Los Angeles area. Um, this was in February of 20, 2013. Uh, now it's in 2013. Remember, the year was 2013. This this the tail this beginning of that year. Uh, people were. Uh, it says right here, she's been reported missing beginning of the month. It says right here in this tagline here. The maintenance worker at the hotel, this was at the senior hotel, um, was, you know, how these maintenance people, uh, they go around do maintenance and stuff. 
well, in this hotel, in this hotel itself had uh, big water tanks. We didn't know <laughs> before before she was in the elevator. Um, we didn't know we didn't know who Lisa Lamb really was. Okay, bear this in mind, folks. We didn't know who Lisa Lamb was. Even I didn't know who Lisa Lamb. I just went around YouTube. I don't know. Just all of a sudden, I was drawn to the story of Lisa Lamb. And the and the people were kind of chiming in. I mean, who is this girl, Lisa Lamb, that everybody so talks about? And what what's the emulations to the uh, to the you know the whole videos and stuff? Well, anyway, what it says here, um, I'm going to read you by Batum. They usually in the newsrooms they will say by Batum. Um, um, it's the downtown Los Angeles area. Now remember, this is a big hotel. This is the Los Angeles area. It's close near the downtown area. Um, this was in February of 19, the 19th of February in 2013. So it's been six years uh, of that uh, 2013. Um, when I gathered through a lot of people on their on their own videos, is they chimed on with conspiracy theory about her. I mean, everything about her. I mean, everything. It's her, um, her her mental issues to all sorts of things I mean I mean they really dug deep on this information uh, and they didn't have to uh, I'm not, uh, not I'm not taking offense on this but I'm just saying uh, it's like a mystery that needs to be solved people remember this it needs to be a mystery that needs to be solved it didn't have to be a big story it really didn't have to but it it spawns a lot of people on YouTube in 2013 people were looking for mystery videos on YouTube. I kid you not. At the time, people were looking for mystery stories. And the one story that kept coming up on YouTube was the Lisa Lamb story. I don't know why it was significant, but it was at the time. Uh, people just chimed in. Every every vlogger out there was chiming in. There was there was elevator footage was released uh, and to where Chinese people were <laughs> and this this is a Chinese family. This is a Chinese based family, and uh, but she she traveled around the world. I think she was at one point she was on CBC. Uh, at one point, uh, uh, there was some photos around showing that she was on one of the TV shows. Uh, but we didn't know. For me, for me, I didn't know her personally. Uh, people, this may have been just mine. I just thought going around YouTube videos, you know, and originally, originally. People are looking for mystery stories. Any mystery stories to anybody, anybody around the world. And this mystery kept coming up on YouTube videos. And it was just, it was like, um, it was like a, um, it was like a uh, creature that keeps on festing, essentially. Uh, it didn't need to be. And there were stories uh, talked about her. CNN did a little story about her. Um, it was really, really, really. It didn't need to be a big story. That I bet, she, I bet she's talking about this in the afterlife. She passed away from drowning. People, this is not joking. Uh, from a big water tank from a hotel, uh, according to the stories on on YouTube videos. This was way back, six years ago. Everybody, so we're trying to remember her six years later from when she was alive, not when she's passed away or anything. Um, that's the aspect that we're working on here. Um, so six years, few people on YouTube. One person is doing a tarot reading about her. Um, remember, her soul is still alive, her, uh, but her body is still underground. I saw her grave site. I want to mention that right here, right now. Um, but yeah, she was Chinese descent, uh, and you can tell she was really young at the time. I don't know. I guess I could do my uh, do my calculations, but she was born. I'll give you. Uh, I want you guys to hear this on the uh, on this uh, podcast. Now, this is all about remembering her. Okay, this is all about remembering her. Six years ago, it, it. I didn't know her personally. I knew her through YouTube videos and stuff. Um, so it was just. It was like a snowball effect on YouTube. You know how once once uh, the, uh, the it's like a viral video. It's gone viral essentially. Um, it it's keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It, it kind of it gets a lot of viewers' attention. Essentially, it gets a lot of viewers' attention on YouTube videos. It didn't need to be a lot of viewers to a lot of subscriber base. Um, 
So this is one way back in 2013. And, uh, yeah, what I gathered through a lot of people, she was playing the... Uh, there was speculation she was doing the uh, <laughs> elevator uh, game. That was a theory that put out there. She was in that uh, to uh, what uh, medication she was taking at the time. It was just conspiracies all around. Uh, to me, my view on it, it was just bizarre. It was totally bizarre mystery. One b bizarre mystery at the time. And this is was my thinking at the time. So we're just, I'm going to put this as a title as remembering Lisa Lamb herself. Herself. Um, so I guess, I guess they dubbed her as that name. But um, she was born in the Los Angeles area. Uh, coincidence here. She died in California. You know, and their Chinese parents... Uh, so it was a big deal at the time. It was 12, uh, 23 people. Were, it was a mystery that had to be solved sort of, in a way, in a weird way, kind of thing. But, but anyway, um, so there was photos on social media which she looked like when she was alive uh, on the photos. And um, Lisa Lam, who pa who still passed away six years uh, ago. Um, she's probably in her grave site, uh, just probably laughing about all this. But yeah, uh, she did drown her own self. Uh, I don't know if she did or somebody pushed her in those big water tanks. It could be a number of things. Anyway, people were doing a recreation, the recreation videos of how she got way up there. Um, <laughs> I was thinking myself about that as well. Um, it was like it's being like an investigator and trying to investigate how she came from the elevator to the water tanks up to the hotels, but it was just it was just a it was just a mystery that had to be really solved. It was like a, it was like scratch of the head. Um, people were examined about her uh, what kind of medication she was on to many theories at the time, and um, yeah. So anyway. This is a video six years ago about Lisa Lamb. This was 2013, folks. I'm going to mention it again. Um, I want to just do a... This is a memory of her. Who... I, I didn't know her personally. I'll, I'll tell you this much, people. I didn't know her personally. I only knew her through the YouTube videos that it need, it kind of snowballed. It's like a, It was like one of these viral videos that uh, kind of, you know, snowballed in a bigger story. Uh... And it really got a lot of people's attention. <laughs> I kid you not. But it's like it's like it's like people uh, do with it. In those days, YouTube would have viral videos going on, and it would spread like wildfires. <laughs> I mean, I kid you not. I'm going to use the world. They they dub these videos wild, uh, viral videos where they go viral. I mean, millions of people have seen this video. Um, we got a person on YouTube who's doing a terror reading about her. Um, Remember, her body is still underground, but her soul still lives. Okay, people, bear that in mind. So, that in that in mind, I just my my two cents. Six years later, six years I calculated it. Six years later, we're only remembering her when she was still alive. Okay, I don't know her personally. I'll tell you this much, people. I don't know her personally, but I don't only know her from the YouTube videos. And it kind of, it was like a viral video for a lot of people. It was like a head scratcher, mystery has to be solved kind of video. Um, and, uh, but everybody thought it's all because of, of videos. Videos really help out the theory. If you didn't have videos, you would have to write everything out and figure out how, you know, they didn't have cameras in the 70s or 80s to surveil people on elevators and stuff. They used them for security reasons. Actually, they were used them for security reasons. Um, when I went into uh, some buildings, they did have these uh, security cameras um, in the elevators. Just the elevators alone, on the side top of the elevators. Um, but I want to say to you folks, this is only a video about her remembering Lisa Lamb, better known as... We'll leave it at that. But... It was a chilling story. One person said here, a chilling story. It was a chilling story. It didn't need to be. It was like one of these viral reveals that went viral. All of a sudden, it snowballed after that. Uh, 
and I bet she's laughing in the afterlife. And uh, if Lisa Lamb was alive today, she'd probably laugh about this from her photo. I'm seeing her photo right in front of me on this uh, computer. And this, for all intents and purposes, they would say um, she was okay. Let's let's just calculate this uh, by 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 chance. Okay, so by chance, she she was. Uh, let me do this again. Anyway, just by chance, they were just doing the remembrance video of her, and uh, six years later, it's been crazy. But anyway, this is just a remembering video of her, six years later. Hell felt. Uh, um, and 2013, you did have YouTube, you did have Twitter, people tweeted. We're on social media, but they were, they were on YouTube. They had like mystery videos to viral videos to unsolved uh, videos to this. People like the good fashion mystery on YouTube, and it was very chilling at this uh, juncture in 2013. This is this was at the height of YouTube, the height of YouTube when uh, in those days, um, YouTube. When you had a viral video, it would have gone like a snowball effect. People would view it, got millions of views, got also, and they share it. They have these share things. So that kind of uh, you know sparked. <laughs> but we're in this in this audio, we're doing the remembrance video of her six years later, and um, we want to say to the uh, uh, her family um, that. Uh, if they're still living, that uh, we remember Lisa Lamb, which one, I think one of her daughters. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing a remembrance video. I know it's heartfelt. And a lot of people chimed in on their own videos. Six years le later, Lisa Lamb, or I'm going to put the uh, title of this of this video, this audio portion, is doing the, rem I'll just say remembering Lisa Lamb six years later. That's all I'm saying. Um, I just saw the, one of the guy's video, uh, it was solved, but I'm going to do the remem a remembering video of her. Six years later, I did my calculations, six years later, uh, it, it was a big story that didn't need to be. Sometimes it goes viral and it goes bigger than it need to be. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, these are many, many people out there with their own views about it. Uh, it was scary. People thought it was very scary, chilling, everything else. They had their theories about the actual Lisa Lamb um, story. Their own. But I'll, I'll, what I'll put in the title is Remembering Her, Six Years Later. And uh, everybody who was on YouTube really, really chimed in. I mean, a bunch of them did. Uh, but... Um, not everybody was there when it all happened. You can clearly see in the uh, elevator footage. But uh, I think the hotel that she was in, I think it had uh, a dark path. Uh, a lot of people didn't know that. But anyway, nonetheless, we should move on, pressure on, and we will. This is only a podcast about Lisa Lamb six years later, should we say. Just uh, heartfelt remembering her. Um, her soul is still living, her soul is still living, but her body laid the rest. I want to tell that for the for the record out there. Um, big story, everybody who was anybody on YouTube chimed in for the story. It was, <laughs> like I said, it's a big story and it didn't need be. Sometimes when you're in the world of YouTube videos, they usually have viral videos to, um, uh, and it spreads right Wi-Fi. These viral videos go, you know, with the views and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to do six years later video remembering Lisa Lamb. I'll put that in the title for you people out there. And I hope you guys get it. Um, I, I'm seeing it right now, um, right here. And uh, yeah, it was a very sad story, very sad story. Even six years later, one lady's doing a tarot read from her. And um, yeah, just, I think... Uh, the um, final thoughts on it. I'm going to do the final thoughts here, people. I'm just letting you know I'm doing final thoughts. I think the whole aspect of the whole story is just uh, 
not the mystery itself. I think it's just the person itself. I think she felt that there was some dark figure near the elevator area. I think that was my theory at the time. Um, I'm very skeptic about a lot of stuff, uh, about videos and stuff. But the world that we live in, in 20, 2013, you had YouTube, you had Twitter, you have a lot of these social media sites. And there were, I mean, stories didn't have to be big, but in the world of YouTube, you get viral videos, and they spread like wildfire. Oh, they keep sharing it, and spreads like wildfire. They didn't, but anyway, it was one of these videos that didn't want to be big, and it so happened it did. But anyway, that's my theory. I'm going to stick to it. And this is just a remembrance video for her for six years later. I bet her spirit of herself, her soul of herself is still living. Uh, as Huff Paranormal would say, our soul lives on. Our soul from our bodies lives on. And I, just, I take comfort of that. I really do take, take comfort of that. We don't, our body does not go underground and that's it kind of thing. Uh, that was my theory a long time ago, but I'm getting all this notion that it's not what it is. Um, our soul, when you have a living person, we have a soul in our body. We have a soul in our body. That soul never, will never die. And um, what I'm conveying to you people out there is soul never dies. Your body you see in front of you, that goes underground. That stays underground for eternity until your, uh, until your bones are brittle, essentially. And uh, you're no longer in this world, essentially. Anyway, so I want to say to you people, remembering Lisa Lamb. And that will be the title of this audio six years later. And... Um, I got her Wikipedia page here, and yeah, um, it talks about her father, her mother. I did see her family on a photo. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. I seen her family on a photo. It looked, and she apparently she had another um, sister, another sister on the side of the photo. Um, I don't know clearly, but she was Chinese descent. Remember that she was Chinese descent, so you can bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, she was uh, just uh, you know, learning the ropes of the life in itself, just independent. Women sometimes don't, don't uh, they're trying to, women sometimes want to be independent. That's good. That's good if you can do it. But if you have the strength to do it. But uh, yeah, so this young girl, Lisa Lam, wants to travel a lot, be independent, which is okay, which is okay. But anyway... I'm going to leave it for you guys. I know it's a lengthy one. I didn't meant to be a lengthy, but this is only a remembering Lisa Lamb. Six years later, in 2013, in February of, uh, it says here, 20, uh, in 19, 2013. Um, you can guys find the story about her on YouTube. You, you don't need to tell me the whole lengthy story about her. But I have my thoughts on it. And just, anyway. So six years later, I uh, did the calculation. Six years later. So anyway, thank you for my podcast. We'll put this in the title right now. Peace, y'all.